A little over 20 years ago, I was sitting in the same seat that you're sitting in. Well, you know, they've upgraded the chairs just a little bit since then. And the professors didn't have YouTube videos 20 years ago when I was in this class. But, uh, but it was in 1994 that I took ME 1800. And I remember the, the days getting into the class and starting up the class. I was, I was really excited about, uh, about the opportunities that I was going to have. The, um, I knew that at the end of that class, one, I was going to know more about manufacturing engineering, and two, I was going to be able to use the machining labs and the manufacturing labs to make things that, that well, things that I wanted to make. And um, I, uh, I, I finished up the class. I ended up getting distracted, and, and maybe I didn't make all those things that I wanted to make right away at the end of the class. But, uh, but I know that there's a lot of you that are, that are having feelings like that, that you want, actually want to, uh, you want to learn a lot so that you can make something in the, uh, in the machining labs, so that you can make the things that you want to make. And I know that there's some of you out there that, um, well, you just want to get a credit so that you can check something off on your uh, on your graduation list, and you can move one step closer to graduation. And I'm hoping that the uh, the class will be able to serve both types of customers. In this first week of the class, we have actually got a lot of things to uh, to get done, and some of them may seem to be a little bit trivial as we as we get into it. But we'll get back to it further on in the class. What I what I really want to start with is is why are we here? We're going to talk about manufacturing and value and and the reasons that we're studying these things and we're going to talk about uh, lean manufacturing which is a, a manufacturing management system that's actually been applied to all levels of all different industries around the uh, around the world these days um, We've got some assignments that you're going to have to do this week. We've got uh, a couple of lab assignments that were due actually by today, Monday at noon. Uh, and if you haven't gotten those done yet, make sure that you get them in as quickly as possible. Also, if you haven't gotten the week zero assignments, so there was a quiz and a survey that were due last Friday uh, at midnight nominally. Uh, if you haven't gotten those done, please make sure that you get those submitted because, uh, well, because we know there's a lot of flux at the beginning of the term and there's students joining the class and leaving the class. We actually don't count those week zero assignments as late unless they're handed in after the end of week one. But please get those done as quickly as possible. The intent, especially with the survey, is that you do it before you come to your first class. So if you can at all do that, make sure you get it done before lecture on Tuesday. Uh, and again, we're going to have lecture on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday this first week of the term. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays again are in Salisbury 104. Uh, and Wednesdays are going to be in Washburn 229, always at 11 o'clock. If you're in section one of the class, you're going to have lab on Monday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. If you're in section two of the class, you're going to have lab on Tuesday at 9 o'clock in the morning, which means sections one and section two of the class both have lab before that first lecture, but that's okay. The, uh, the lab PLAs know how to, to take care of you, and, um, and they'll, uh, they'll make sure that you get everything done that you need to get done. The, uh, the, we'll talk more about labs as we're getting into the, uh, the term. Let's see, we've got getting started with CAM 3 due Wednesday at noon. And so that's the third step in that getting started with CAM exercise that you started on the Learn CNC. We've got a week one quiz and a week one survey due Friday at 11.59 p.m. or midnight Friday night as we like to call that. We've got a group one assignment due Friday again at 11.59 p.m. and that's Friday the 4th for all of those. And um, that group assignment on Thursday in class We'll make sure that everybody is in a group and we've, we've gotten the groups all taken care of and we'll talk about what that assignment is and you'll be able to complete it between Thursday at class time and Friday evening, no problem. And then we've got a, uh, another CAM assignment that's going to be due Friday again at 11.59 p.m. And this is Standard Milling Operations and Features Lesson 1. And the, uh, the, the PLAs who helped uh, organize the instructions for this, they like to call that SMOF. Lesson one, so S M O F. When you see that acronym, that's what they mean. And uh, again, that's in Learn CNC, and you should have plenty of time to take care of that while you're in your scheduled lab. Now, if you don't have time to take care of that while you're in your scheduled lab, or for some reason you've missed lab, um, or something went wrong and you didn't get finished, we will have help sessions on Friday during the day. So there will be uh, PLAs there. Pretty much all day long, we'll announce in class what the times are. They'll be there pretty much all day long to help anybody that's behind in the CAM exercises. As the term goes on, if we have 
problems with uh, some of the machinery in the labs and if we need to we'll open up some of those Friday sessions and we may open up some Monday and Wednesday sessions for people to catch up on machining exercises but uh, the intent is that those lab exercises get done during the scheduled lab times and that you don't have to spend extra time on them again sometimes things come up or sometimes you might miss a lab and you'll need to make something up so that's uh, that's out there we've got a, a couple of reading assignments this week um, I would like you to read the YouTube playlist that's uh, about the getting started with cam exercise and if you can do that before you get to your first lab that would be great uh, I would also like you to read the YouTube playlist that's about the initial engraving exercise that you're going to actually do on either Monday or Tuesday in lab and again if you get a chance to do that before you get to lab that's excellent if you don't you'll still be able to do the lab exercise I inadvertently left this off of the week zero assignments so uh, those should have been assigned for week zero actually um, I want you to read chapter one from the book Improving Production with Lean Thinking by uh, Santos, Javier Santos. Um, and you'll have access to that from the electronic collection of the WPI library. There's a short YouTube video in the, uh, in the blog post here that tells you how to get that access if you don't already know how to. And I want you to read a blog post that I wrote. It's called uh, Watch, Do, Teach, A Practical Approach. Watch, Do, Teach a practical approach to lab instruction and I'd like you to watch that uh, again if you, if you can do that reading of the um, that last blog post before you come to uh, to lab that would be great but uh, just before the end of the week if, if not and uh, the reading about uh, improving production with lean thinking if you make sure you have that done before the Wednesday class then you'll be able to fully participate in class on Wednesday. Um, for Tuesday to, uh, to fully participate in the lecture part of the class, bring yourself and be prepared to talk and, and discuss the, uh, the reasons why you're in the class and what you want to get out of the class before it's over.